Man, I know we still have three left, but I'm also watching these last three in a batch together. And I know we also have season two, but I'm genuinely afraid of everything that's going to go down in the next three episodes. But I'm getting ahead of myself, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus. And today we have Lone Wolf from Vinland Saga. The, the rematch of rematch of rematches between Thorfinn and Askeladd is about to go down again after we just watched Askeladd have to finish off Bjorn, telling him he was his only friend. It was heartbreaking. And like I said, as the show has continued, it feels more and more like Asquad feels like the inherent, I guess, main character. But I, I don't think it's as simple as a black and white main character side character thing. I think Thorfinn and Asquad have both grown a lot as people and characters over the course of the entire show. And we're supposed to sort of recognize those changes and appreciate their growth in a sort of way. We're going to hop into this one, see what goes down. Drop a like if you haven't already. It does help me out quite a bit. And let's get started. Oh. Oh my gosh, there's no way they're making me watch this again. There's no way. It was sad enough the first time. Dude, his genuine concern for him when he missed his vitals too. The aura around Asquad too. All right, here we go. The rematch of rematches. Which would this be? What number? They've fought so many times. Thorfinn looks like, like sickly even. He's like more stoic. I think it bothered Askeladd a lot more to lose Bjorn than he's letting it seem. Mmm. Dude, Thorkel's so hype! These are two great warriors about to fight. Stronger how? I think Askeladd still outmatches him. Yeah. Yeah, his aura. At the end, when it looked at him, it had like an actual aura to him. <laughs> he said, don't you dare bring that up. It's about matchups. Yeah. Thorkel just really wants to bet on it. But also, Thorfinn still has his arm injured, too. That's such a disadvantage. He's definitely still in a lot of pain. Uh. What? Dang, bro, he's cocky. Ooh, that's gonna piss Thorfinn off. Treat him like he's a kid. Just grab his... Oh my gosh. Dude, there is this aura about him. Oh my gosh. Oh! I, I, I felt that crack. Oh my gosh, he's outmatched so hard still. It's not. It doesn't feel like it. It's almost like he's getting even worse as time goes on. He's just beating the hell out of him. What's the reason for the duel? Oh my gosh. Kanu doesn't even know. I mean, Thorfinn doesn't care enough to tell other people. It's his own personal gripe. Dude. No, he just gets... He gets very emotional when he fights Asuka because of what happened. Oh. Oh. Got cocky, maybe. Uh, Askeladd? He's feeling like unhinged since Bjorn died. Oh! Why? Why would you do that to me? Oh my gosh. Can you said he was going to? Like I said, he was already looking rough before the fight. He didn't land a single blow on him. It's almost like spending time with Asquad has made it worse. The Asquad's learned more about him than vice versa. He's getting up looking for him. Oh, that was like the, the, yeah, the death. Okay, I see. It was like to signify the end of the battle. I see. Let's give him like a lesson right now. <laughs> Looking for someone else with that twinkle in their eye. The first person he killed was his father? Oh my gosh. Oh. Because he knows that Thorfinn still hates him. Oh my gosh. Dude, do we get to hear? I want to know what he would tell him. I genuinely don't know. Like, to use the rage in a smart way? I don't know. I just got a backstory! I mean, we've gotten a tiny, tiny bit. Oh my gosh. And why did he kill his father? How did he get to this path? 
Yeah, covered in ash. Ah, oh, because he worked at a blacksmith. Ah. It's such a cool name. And Olaf was his father. He's, he's said son of Olaf before. Oh, shoot. Brought back a head! Oh, my gosh. Ah. He only named the older kids. He had, oh my gosh. So that's how he got his name is because he didn't have a name. Oh, dude. Okay, so he didn't have like a connection or anything with his father. Not the slightest. He had no use for her anymore. Uh-huh. King Arthur. Or what King Arthur's based on, or vice versa. I'm shocked sure Asuka is even opening up to them about this. I guess he's telling him how to kill someone he hates. And this is part of it. He probably hated his father. Oh my gosh. Oh, the pair Vinland. And Thorfinn knows what he's talking about. Still there now. He truly believes this. Oh, maybe not. He's saying his mother's family waited for him. Yeah, 500 years goes by. How do you keep believing? Why leave? Yeah. 11. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, went to Olaf. Oh my gosh, she was so desperate to see this hero. No, no. He watched him kill her. Then he's not real. Art Arthur, Artorius is sort of his god, thinking he would come down and save him and his mother. This is the same perspective Canute has. Becoming your own hero and making your own path. How did his father not kill him right here and now? He defended her. Dude! Yeah. It was like Thorfinn. Kind of. Wow. Or your son. Oh, you say you probably didn't even remember. There you go. <laughs> wow. Mm. What about his mother? Was she allowed to live in the hall too? Oh. He had genuine brothers. But I don't think he ever put that grudge away. Although it seemed like he got close with him. <laughs> the face pat. Yeah, I guess. What did your father? Oh, I guess he said, are you my child? Oh. Dude. Dude. Oh my gosh. Gained his trust. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh my gosh. It's the perfect story. Oh my gosh. They're so easy to trick. He sees all Vikings the same. Searching for an end. That's why he's so excited about Ragnarok when it got brought up. Gosh, dude, what a backstory. Holy. Ten years, yeah. Well, no, he just doesn't. He wants to kill him with honor. He doesn't want to just stab him in his sleep. He's saying to kill someone you truly hate, you have to gain their trust and just do what you need to, no matter what. What on an act having these duels with you. It's almost like he's like pissing him off on purpose. Oof. Oh man. It feels like he's trying to anger Thorfinn. Almost like, get mad, get angry. 
Orphan wants to beat him in a duel, though. He wouldn't have it any other way. I forgot the Orkel was here. I'm going to be honest. Oof. Mm. God, dude, everything just seems so... Oh. Why me? Oh, why does he follow Canute? Yeah. I don't think he ever saw himself as becoming king. He wants someone... Yeah. Mm -hmm. He almost sees himself as, like, poisoned. Like, he's too late. But, like, Canute is, like, this fresh canvas. And he's now set him on, like, the right path. Just a Viking. I don't know. I feel like there's so many ways to look at it. There's just endless opportunities of discussion. It's the best part about Vinland Saga. And the soundtrack. Gosh. Dude, in one season, I just... It fits so much in. Seeing this kid change completely. Oh. I mean, I think Thorfinn is just struggling with his whole purpose. Like not knowing where he like where he should be or what he should do. Oh, it's so tough. It's it's like I said, there's so many ways I think to break it down. So many ways to see it. And that's my favorite part about all of this. I can think about it in so many perspectives. None of it's predictable or anything, but we know the characters at the same time. It plays both sides of the coin very well. I did not expect to get all of Askeladd's backstory, though. That was really incredible because it helps me to some extent figure out who he is and how he views the world but like i said i see an absurd number of similarities between him and canute and i think that's why canute asked him why you or why me not you because he literally probably saw himself in that backstory he was like oh we're pretty much the same forging our own destinies our own paths but i think it correlates to two episodes ago three ago when he sent his two previous men on their way and, and gave him the the band almost to say like it's too late for him but not for him telling him to to quit and and make a family and have peace it's the exact same thing here telling canute it's too late for me but not for you and i i i, I don't know if i'm looking too far into it seeing that similarity but that's kind of how i interpret it and i think that's what vinland saga is all about is the interpretations of a character's actions and where they want to go and where they want to be and i think thorfinn is the most lost soul in all of it right now he has no idea who he wants to be or where he wants to go especially after asquad told him that all these years were so pointless and how he's grown none not not grown at all back in york day of the imperial council oh shoot today's the day babe. i mean i would hope it gets it gets going i feel like it's gonna be the rest of the two apps tight security miscalculation that worries me Ew. is that mud i hope that's mud man oh what's he doing just shoved him over. He was about to get stabbed. He didn't even notice. Oh, is what? What's what's Thorfinn doing? Did the canoe not go back with him? People are talking. People are talking. Oh, they know that the king would choosing one of the brothers would send an assassin out other the other. Dude, I love how Thorkel joining Canute has such weight to it. So these are just all the lords. All the higher-ups. All that the king governs. Ah, oh, Floki's so gross, man. I can't stand that guy. Oh, there's our squad pulling up. <laughs> Damn, bro. Freaking gunner, bro. Um, dying out in the street? No one is foolish enough. I don't know, man. Thorfinn's in a bad spot. He might lash out. <laughs> Dude, this is so tense. Holy. My boy is not doing good. That's all he replays in his head. Is this blood loss doing this? Oh, Ruka Sensei. Oh, sorry. It's a scar. It looks so sad. Oh, my heart. Oh, no. Oh, no, bro. Oh, no, he's about to make a mess, isn't he? Even down in the dumps, he... Dude, even down in the dumps, he wipes them! Oh, gosh. 
Oh no. Oh no. No. I guess tensions are high because of the whole meeting and everything. Rufin is breaking my heart, bro. He just looks so empty. Long awaited wish. Okay. Thanks to the protection of the gods. Yeah, I'm glad you're you're so happy, Knut's back. Oh yeah, good fortune. Oh rat, man. Them hugging the unison. Part of our new territory. Ah, oh, okay. He's just saying support my son. But didn't we anticipate him putting him under control of Mercia? Ireland, our next battleground. Harald. Was humiliated by Boru. Hmm, Brian Boru. Where's Harald now? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, yeah, like I said, Asgard predicted this. Hmm, there's still moves to be made, though. Asgard is very confident. But why is the title miscalculation, man? Oh, this is it. We show no respect for their king. Oh no, oh no. He needs to get rid of those. Nip them in the bud. The inhabitants of Wales. No. No. Oh, how would he have known about whales? Doesn't matter, he knows. But Canute promised the safety of whales. I've never seen that much shock on Asquad's face. Oh my god, Leif Erikson. Oh, this is so sad, man. He sees Thorfinn at his bottom. To say the least. Yep. No, ex exactly. I, I, at least he understands that. If it hasn't changed after all these years, then it won't. It can't. Ilva. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he wanted to be a, a Viking and go out into the sea. Oh, I do remember that story, yeah. And all the men that, that died. All his all his men. I was assumed it was a, a false tale to inspire him with... Or I guess fill him with a little bit of fear. Yeah, my six friends had all died, so it was real. Huh. Oh, I always thought he was just building up this big fantasy. He kept going. My gosh, man. No matter what. And I think he said in the story that was Vinlin. No? The world he dreamed of. Damn. He swore to him. He did. I mean, Thorfinn realized, like, I don't know, he's, like, Leif Erikson's had this, this mission all these years at the same time, coinciding with Thorfinn's. I don't know. Wow, silver and lamb. Good job, guys. Good pull. Talking about Askeladd? He know yeah, because Floki noticed the look on his face. So the king knows that he made a good decision. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I guess that's the miscalculation is that Asgard didn't consider whales. But again, what information did the king have to go off of to even pivot to whales? I guess just the, the amount of land. Didn't anticipate this. See, that's what I was saying. Yeah, like even if it is like all land and everything, he has to make a commitment to going after whales. Do we know? Do we understand his true... Turn to a sea of fire. Oh. 
The aura. The brain. He doesn't know what to do. For the first time ever. He's gonna have a breakdown. Finland. Maybe he promises to take him there too? This is the first shot! The very first one! Is he saying that? Oh. Oh. Give him a new dream to search for. Give him something else. Give him anything. Take on a dream that though he can find satisfaction in. Revenge is 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 not that. Yeah, with his whole family. Oh, my heart, man. Please say yes, Thorfinn. Please. Please. Wait, that's Optimus the music. He might actually give up on killing Asgard. Oh, Thorkel. Right? Orkel's like, hang on a second. Ah, that's where he grew up as whales. He wore a full pride. He would never want to see it just, just pub stomped. Run over by the king. He knows they wouldn't stand a chance against the king. Huh. Well, now what? Why? Oh, for his reward? Oh, this should be good. What's it gonna be? Oh, this gonna cliffhanger me. I just know it. I just know it. I just know it. Just do it to me. Do it hard. Do it fast. Just get it over with. <laughs> yeah, this could get much worse much quicker because he still doesn't know what he's gonna do. Okay, no cliffhanger. God bless. I mean, kind of. Oh my gosh, man. This finale is just going to be too much. I can tell. Oh... Oh man, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready and there's an entire season after this waiting for me. 24, let's go. Why is this called the end of the prologue? This was a prologue! Ah, okay. Get everybody out safe. Asko at home to Wales. Lay Ferrix and Thorfinn back home. Ready to go to Vinland. Everybody just get out safe. Thorkel, I don't care where you go. Do not perish. Let's execute this cleanly. No fighting. Depends on what the king says. Money! 50 pounds! Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, and you care a lot about Canute, right? Right, King? Oh. How does he know? How would he know? I mean, Flogi noticed his reaction, but how would he have made that call to attack Wills out of the blue? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, okay. The thing is, since he knows that the king knows, he looked at the king, saw the king's facial expression change. He knows that the king knows that he's already bothered by it. Therefore, there is no wrong in him saying that because the, between him and the him and the king, they both know that they have sort of a, a hand up on it. He knows they both know that the king has a hand up on Askeladd. So by asking that, he puts the pressure on the king in front of all the rest of the lords in the room. It's honestly the smartest move, so I understand why he did. But he's going to have to have a very good reason to be like, this isn't the play. Or else, I mean, I mean, Wales is going to be attacked and like he has to just make some insane move. The only one I could see being like just going on a full blown rampage against the king, trying to kill the king, take the fall himself. And then if he kills the king, Canute takes over and Canute would not attack Wales because Canute even himself promised the safety of Wales to the people of Wales. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> A fruitless battle. He's gonna bring up the land because they said it's 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 mountainous and and not prosperous and it's poor. 
Weird. She's all shocked. Canute is. He's, that's what he's passionate about is his home. Yeah, this should be good. Why not rest and build? Yeah. Mm hmm That's what I said! Because they brought that up in Wales. Yes, dude! And men to die for no reason. And the king had to hear him out because if he didn't, and now he's making the king look like a bad guy if he says yes because it's re it's risking people's lives for no reason. So he's about worried about setting the status quo. Oh. I mean that's true because he could persuade the people of Wales. Don't be a tyrannical king. They'll respect you and appreciate you. Yeah. And if he says no, he just looks tyrannical, no? Oh, shoot. Thorkel's so hype. He's like... Mission failed successfully? Oh my gosh, he did it! Oh my gosh! Let's go! He's gonna say something to him. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He did find out. But he truly believes in Canute as a king. Oh! That's a disgust, the same disgusted look. That's why, because when they first met with the king, he saw. Oh my gosh, I didn't think about their first conversation when they got back here. I'm a fool, a fool. That's how he knew and how he was able to look more into him because he brought up slaves. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. That's how I'm so stupid. I didn't even think of his, his conversation when he got so angry and he noticed he's going to make him pick. That is insane. Oh, what does this bird represent? Jerky. Oh, where did he go? What is he doing? Oh no! Come on, dude. I, it's like uh, the Doctor Strange. Like you see the two different paths, and Thorfinn leaving the boat changes things right now. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Uh. Can everybody else hear? Ah! Oh my gosh! No, he's going! He's going all out! He's going scorched earth! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Canute! Oh! King Swain is mine! Not act normal. Canute knows that Asgard would not just do this out of the blue, though. He knows he's more technical than this, and this was his only option. That was his. That's his sensitive point. That's his. That's his weakness. His family. His land. His people. His real name. Artorius. Yes! Oh shit! Oh. oh my gosh! He's distracted. The king is dead! Holy f oh, oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Holy f Wait! I catch her there! But now! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Criminal who murdered the king. Wait, he has to step up like that because he just he recognized he's now the king. Basically, he inherits the throne. Harald is not here. Oh my gosh, the king's dead just like that in one fell swoop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's scorched earth. Everything's going to hell in a handbasket. No one can beat Asgard. No one. The king is dead. It's almost like he's like framing himself as a villain. But he knows he's always been the villain. He was born to be. All he ever cared about was his people. And Bjorn. All the lords trying to escape. 
Because Canute knows Thorkel will kill him so fast, I think. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He can do knows! Yes! Take the blame! Make himself the bad guy! I said that! Put it to an end? No, you could let him escape and offer protection. No, but maybe Knut sees that he has to have a body. Like, Knut has to? Almost as if... Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, Floki. Oh, my gosh. Just kill Floki! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, do not say that. That's all he needs. Put him down! Kneel! Yes! Yes! Ah! He knows this act has to continue. I'm gonna be sick. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be sick. What? He killed Floki. <gasps> no! Canute! No! ハセラと電気だ電気が。ちゃんと立ってろ。お前のための部隊だ。無駄にするなよ。何言うちょうに寝てやがんだてめえ。どんなとこ刺されやがって。バカ野郎が。うるせえな。いつも<笑><笑> It was never gonna end like this. This is just like the shot with Thor's. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He has to have a purpose. And that's Vinland. Go wherever you want. He's broken. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What is he doing? Oh my gosh! He cared that much about Asgard! Yes, he died. Oh. He needs to be he needs to be designated before anything else. Floki was trying to get him out of the room before he could do that. Oh my gosh, Knut is so smart. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Asgard son saw no other option. He has such a good reasoning too to not attack whales. They're carrying him away. Oh my gosh. It mirrored the shot of Thor's like he lost another father. And Thorkel just leaves. He dropped the blade. He spent more years, maybe, with Asgard than his own father. Probably the same, if not. He's going back. He's going back. He's going back.
That's the first time I watched the outro. I'm guessing that these shots at the very end are sort of teasers for, for next season, but oh man. It was all a chess match and it came down to the final the final play, which was I, I see a lot of parallels. I don't I don't know which came first. I think Attack on Titan, but parallels to Aaron and Attack on Titan sort of making himself into the villain. And Ascot realizing to choose between Canute and Wales was going back on one thing he believed in. He truly believed in Canute as the king. He truly loved Wales as his home. So the only way to save both was to send himself, to sacrifice himself, make himself the bad guy, knowing that Canute would realize, as at least with Thorkel's help, that he had to be the one to put him down. Man, I just... Uh, oh. Like I said, I know there's still a season two, and I have so much to go. And this is called End of the Prologue, but I truly see how it means that. How this, this chapter of Thorfinn's life is closed. And I think, depending on how season one starts we'll see the i guess slow movement of thorfinn in developing a new path a new reason for living a new way to go on like i said them mirroring thor's death to Askeladd's death with the same framing was so insanely powerful because as they drug thorfinn away i i truly believe he saw another father passing on and him losing another father figure and i think whenever like i said whenever it did those memories in his blade as he dropped it it was a him dropping his i guess need for blood a desire to kill Askeladd, and also at the same time showing all that they had been through together like i said he didn't experience that much with his father yes he raised him but to a certain extent Askeladd raised thorfinn too in his own way not the best father but you know venla saga is one for the books regardless that was that was a lot i really can't wait to see what they do with this world i'm glad this isn't like a one season thing or anything because i feel like so much is built up both politically with canute leading and thorkel being sort of at the head of um, what i'm assuming is his army the loose end of his brother harald and thorfinn's path because it's called end of the prologue i truly believe thorfinn's journey is just starting and he has so much to go i just oh my gosh guys that has been it from the end of my reaction to venland saga that was oof. I really do want to know what you guys think of it down in the description below. I really do want to know what you guys think of it down in the comments below, at least about the finale. And if I missed anything, because like I said in the last one, I feel like there's so many ways to interpret Vinland Saga that that makes it more fun. I feel like different people could watch this and get different lessons or see a character's actions differently than someone else. So yeah, just let me know down below. Drop a like on this one if you haven't already. And I'll catch you next time for the start of season two of Vinland Saga. Peace, peace.